Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. My name is Jenny J and today we are doing a 30 minute total body workout designed to build muscle and burn body fat all at the same time by using multiple muscle groups uh, to make this 30 minute workout the most efficient workout possible. So today's workout, we're gonna be doing six exercises, 45 seconds on with about 15 seconds in transition for a total of three rounds. Equipment, you will need your body, a mat, and a set of dumbbells. I have three pounds here, but you are more than welcome to grab canned goods, water bottles, laundry detergent, do whatever you have around the house. And most importantly, make this workout your own. Stay safe at home, drink plenty of water throughout the workout, and towel down whenever you need it. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. So let's bring those feet nice and wide. Three big deep breaths. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. And last one, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Let's keep those feet nice and wide. Those toes are pointing forward. We're gonna go into dynamic lateral lunges, bending into one leg, keeping the other leg straight, bringing those hips back and down, keeping those knees in line with your toes, feeling that nice stretch along the inner thighs and outer glutes. We're bringing those hands to the tops of the legs to just support our upper body. You wanna keep that core nice and tight, belly button into the spine. We're here for three and two and one and rest. Great, come back to center, bring those feet about shoulder distance apart. We'll go into big arm circles, warming up the upper body, getting that blood flow to our shoulders. Think about opening up the chest, bring those hands up to the sky and then back behind you. Keep those knees nice and soft here, standing up nice and tall and reverse, bring it the other way. Lots of muscles will be working today. Because we have a short amount of time, we only got 30 minutes. That means we gotta make this workout the most effective uh, as possible by combining different body parts together. They're called compound movements side to side rotation. So we're gonna be doing quite a few different things today. Don't worry, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I break it down step by step so that you know exactly what to do at home. Make sure that you're pivoting from those hips, knees and ankles here, making sure that everything is in line and rest. All right, we're gonna go into good mornings. So good mornings really helps us to activate the glutes and the hamstrings. We're gonna start with those feet shoulder distance apart, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Keep those knees nice and soft. You wanna think about hinging from those hips as if you're trying to poke a wall behind you with your booty, keeping a, a soft bend in those knees, posture nice and tall, and then you're gonna stand straight up. So you wanna think about hinging from the hips, keeping those shoulders back and down. We don't wanna round the shoulders here and make sure that your back of the neck is nice and long. So when you come to the bottom of your good morning, you're not cranking your head looking at the computer or looking at the TV. You're making sure that you keep that alignment. We're here for three and two and one. Awesome, from here let's head down to the floor. We're gonna go on our backs, we'll wake up the core a little bit and then we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna go into dead bugs. So you're gonna make sure that your back is nice and flat. I want you to think about pressing your low back into the mat here to engage the lower abs. Core should be engaged. From here, bring those knees to a tabletop position. Knees are in line with those hips. Shins are parallel to the floor. Your hands are extended above the shoulders. From here, you're gonna drop your right arm and left leg down at the same time. Let it hover one or two inches off the floor and then move through molasses as you go to the other side. So we're just waking up the core slowly but surely, keeping that low back planted on the mat the entire time. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's hug those knees in and roll up to a stand. 
Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more warm than when we started. We're gonna go ahead and go straight into it since we have three rounds, six exercises. Our first exercise is gonna be a lateral lunge with an upright row. Now because I have lighter weight, I'm gonna go ahead and combine my dumbbells in one hand, but you're more than welcome depending on your weight selection at home to just use one dumbbell. I'll show you what this looks like and then we'll go ahead and go together. My dumbbells are in my left hand. I'm gonna take a big step with my uh, right foot. I'm gonna go into that lateral lunge. As I do, the dumbbells come towards my shin, my hips come back and down, that leg stays straight. And then as I come up, I'm gonna drive that elbow high and wide, dumbbells come right to the armpit. So it goes lateral lunge, upright row. We're gonna stay here on one side for 45 seconds. So let's get my timer going in three, two, one, let's go. We bring it down and up. So what are we working on? We're getting into our quads, our glutes, side of the booty, also your shoulder, and your core is always engaged, especially when we're kind of moving in all different directions. You need to make sure that you stay stable and balanced. So you wanna keep that belly button pressed into the spine. And ideally, you wanna be able to bring those dumbbells all the way to the ankle. But if you notice that you're rounding the shoulders to try to do that, I'd rather you stay a little bit higher up so that you can practice good posture. Let's do one more and rest. Awesome. We're gonna switch sides. So dumbbells are in the right hand. I'm gonna take a big step with my left foot. In three, two, one, let's go. We bring it down and up. Now this hand is just on my hip here. If you want, you can also bring it out to the side. Get a little bit of shoulder action as well. It can also help you to balance. Now remember this elbow comes high and wide. You wanna make sure the elbow is above the wrist. A lot of times people have the wrist higher like that, but we want to lift the elbow high. Getting into that shoulder, sculpting it out, building lean muscle, which helps us to reduce overall body fat. Let's do one more rep here and rest. Awesome. All right, next exercise. Many different things are happening all at once. So let's start in our set position. Feet are about shoulder distance apart. Palms are facing in, dumbbells right by the hips. You're gonna go into a hammer curl. So dumbbells curl up to the shoulders. We have two alternating shoulder presses. We rotate, bringing those dumbbells right above the head and then come straight back down. This is getting a lot of different muscle groups and we'll talk about it in three, two, one. Let's go, hammer curl, rotate and press, rotate and press, and then come back down with control. So we're getting the biceps and then the shoulders. And then as we do the rotation, we're also getting into our oblique muscles, which help us with our twisting. As you do this, you wanna make sure that those elbows stay glued to the rib cage. We don't wanna use momentum here. We wanna use the muscles to do all the work. Drive that dumbbell straight up to the sky. Biceps come right next to your ears. And then rotating from those hips, knees, and ankles all at the same time. This is your last one. And rest. Nice job. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go into a hip hinge with a tricep kickback. Very similar to what you did with the good morning. So take a look. Dumbbells are loaded at the ribs. My elbows are slightly back behind me. I'm gonna do that hinge uh, motion that I did in the warm up. Come into that flat back position. Drive those dumbbells back behind you for a tricep kickback. Extend those arms nice and long. Come back into the rib cage and then stand straight up. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Bring it down, kick it back, come back to the ribs, stand up. 
So what are we getting here? We're getting the glutes. We're getting the hamstrings. Your back muscles are working. Your core and your triceps, those bat wings, right? Back of the arms are getting sculpted. Lots of things are moving all at once. So feel free to take it slow. Really connect your mind to the muscle. Think about hinging from those hips to touch a wall back behind you with that booty. Keeping the shoulders back and down, proud chest. This is your last one and rest. Awesome job. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go to the floor on your tummy. We're gonna go into your posture muscles as well as the back of the core. We got a Superman pull down, so take a look. Arms and legs are extended nice and long. Eyes are looking down the entire time. I'm gonna lift my hands and my legs off the floor at the same time, squeezing my glute muscles, opening up the chest. From here, I'm gonna grab an imaginary bar, pull it to my chest, squeeze the back muscles, extend it forward, and then come back down at the same time. If you need an option, you're more than welcome to go into an alternating Superman where the opposite hand and opposite leg lift up at the same time. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Lift, pull, extend, release. So we're getting your entire low back, upper back, shoulders, core, booty. Lots of things are working here. I want you to think about trying to kiss those elbows back behind you, squeezing that space in between your shoulder blades. Eyes are looking down, lifting your chest and legs off the floor as high as you can. Energy reaching through your fingers and your toes. Keep it up. Lift a little bit higher. Last one here. And rest. Woo, nice job. All right, peel yourself off. And then we're gonna go to our backs for a core exercise. So coming up, we have bike pedals. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna make sure that we're holding a crunch position. So the shoulder blades are lifted. Elbows are wide, chin is off your chest. From here, tabletop those knees. You're gonna extend one leg out straight and then the other leg. Just moving through this one leg at a time. If you need an option, you're more than welcome to just do basic crunches until you build the strength to be able to lift those legs up. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. So extend it and switch. Now make sure that you're not pulling on your neck with your hands, you're using your abs to lift the shoulder blades off the floor. Your hands just act as a pillow. Keep those elbows wide, don't let them come to the face here. Lift up as if there's a string attached to your chest. Now the lower the leg, the harder this move is, just make sure that your low back stays planted on the ground the entire time. If it starts to lift up, reduce the range of motion. You can lift those legs a little bit higher. This is your last exercise. And rest. Awesome job. Let's hug those knees in. Roll on up to a stand. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water if you need it. That was one round. We have two more to go. So. We learned what the moves are. Now is the time to really get a little bit deeper into the exercises, maybe grab a heavier weight if you felt like that was too easy, or on the contrary, if that was too hard, lighten the weight or go body weight. So we're gonna go to the very top. We have our lateral lunge with our upright row. So I'm gonna come to the side of my mat, taking a big step with my right leg, and dumbbells are in my left hand. In three, two, one, let's go. Drop it down and up. Now let's make sure that we have really good form. So take a quick peek at your knee and toe alignment. Make sure they're on the same line. 
You don't want to have the knee caving outwards or caving in. We want to make sure that we stay safe at home and make sure that you're breathing throughout this entire workout. Taking as many breaks as you need. If you just need a quick little shake out, you're more than welcome. Last one here and rest. Awesome. Let's go ahead and switch sides in three, two, one, let's go. Now that you know these exercises, our transition in between each move is gonna get faster. And what that's gonna help us do is keep our heart rate elevated. So you're gonna also get like a nice cardio workout and burn more calories within these three, or excuse me, these 30 minutes. <sighs> Pay attention to that form. As we start to challenge ourselves, we can start to lose our form and lose our concentration. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Almost there, last one and rest. Nice job. All right, coming to center, we have our hammer curl with our alternating shoulder press. In three, two, one, let's go. Curl it up, press, and press. Now notice how I'm rotating all the way from my hips, knees, and ankles. It's not just my upper body. We wanna make sure that we act in unison with our upper half and our lower half. When we start to believe that they're two separate entities, that's where injury happens. Because everything's connected. So we gotta move as one unit. Again, nice, slow, and controlled. Extending that arm nice and straight above the head. Keeping those abs nice and tight. You wanna pretend like you're about to get punched in the tummy and rest. Awesome, from here we're gonna go into our hip hinge with our tricep kickback, getting into the glutes and the hamstrings, dumbbells are right at the ribs. In three, two, one, let's go. Hinge, kick it back, and then come back up. So notice, my eyes are looking down when I'm doing my tricep kickback because that's lengthening my entire vertebrae no cranking of the neck. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Slowly bring those dumbbells back in towards the body, resisting gravity. Keeping your weight shifted towards the heels rather than the toes. Keep going here. Last one, and rest. Nice job. We're gonna head down to the floor. We have our Superman pull downs. So coming into, onto our stomach, focusing on our posture. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. We lift it up, pull it in, reach, and release. Up, pull reach, release, trying to lift your knees, upper thighs off the floor. Try to get that chest off the floor as well. I know this move is really difficult here. So just hang in there, do what you can. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Point the toes, engage the entire body. Last one, and rest. Awesome, let's roll on over to our backs. We have our bike pedals. We'll go ahead and take a small break and then we'll do it all over again for one more round. Here we go, lift the shoulder blades off the floor, squeeze those abs in three, two, 
one, let's go, bike it out. Now I'm extending my knees all the way straight, but again, if you just want to keep them bent, that's gonna make it a little bit easier. Maybe lift the shoulder blades a little bit more if you've gotten lazy, I just checked myself, got a little lazy there. We should be trembling, we should be shaking. We gotta work for it. Breathe. Can you lift a little bit higher? Let's go. You got this. Pin the belly to the mat. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. All right, roll on up. Grab a quick sip of water and we're gonna go ahead and finish off with one more round. So this is your opportunity to challenge yourself, get into the lowest lunges, get into the lowest uh, ranges of motion that you can do, challenge yourself, be proud of what you do today. Let's go ahead and finish off strong, going into our lateral lunge with our upright row, taking a big step to the right. In three, two, one, Let's do it, all the way down, all the way up. You wanna drive into the heel as you launch off that foot. You wanna make sure that heel is down on the ground. A lot of mistakes I see are toes have all the weight of your body and the heel is lifting off the floor but that puts a lot of pressure on that knee. So we wanna make sure the heels are heavy, bringing our hips back and down as if we're sitting in that chair. Keep it up. Last one, and rest. Nice work. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides in three, two, one, let's go. All the way down, all the way up. You got this. You are strong, you can handle it. It's only 30 minutes. You should be proud of yourself for just showing up today. Half the battle is just showing up, right? It's just pushing play. But then after that, it's finishing strong, making sure that we make every rep count. Keep going. Almost there. And rest, nice work. All right, hammer curl to that rotating shoulder press. So let's take off in three, two, one, let's go, bring it up, rotate, come back in and release it down. Use this moment to just breathe, reconnect to that core, extending those dumbbells straight up to the sky, framing the face with those biceps. Making sure that you keep that soft bend in the knees. A lot of times we hyperextend our legs. Keeping that entire body active and engaged. Work it out. You're killing it. This is your last one. And rest, awesome. We're gonna go into our hip hinge, tricep kickback. So dumbbells are loaded at the ribs. In three, two, one, let's go. Hinge, kick it back, and come back in. Now I want your triceps to be trembling on the way back into the body. That means that you're going super slow, resisting gravity. Building strength in the back of our arms. Keeping that back and that posture nice and tall here. Oh, 
Almost there. Last one. And rest. Nice work. All right, let's head down to the floor on your tummy. We're going to go ahead and go into our Superman pull downs. Let's try to reach our fingers and our toes as far out as we can. In three, two, one, let's go. We lift up, pull it in, squeeze those back muscles. You're gonna feel like you're sitting and standing taller after this workout because we worked on our back. So, so, so important. You're also building strength in your lower back too. So if you have any low back aches or pains, this is helping to strengthen that area. Reach a little bit higher if you can. 